Welcome to the ninth part of a series of Where are the Asian Places in Sydney? This time round, I'll take you through a tour of Wentworthville. Known to be a place with a large Indian community, it is a couple of kilometres away from Parramatta and a 40 minute train ride away from the CBD. So let's take a tour. First, we're at the train station. Newly built and refurbished, it's the place to head out of the suburb. I do like the renovations and I certainly like the view of Wentworth it gives. As we walk around, you will notice many Indian shops around the area, especially serving desserts and fast food in general. I remember the first vibe I got from Wentworthville, and to be honest, it was nowhere near as hectic as say, Chatswood or Hurstville. I'm not sure if it was just me, but I felt like it was a very quiet suburb. Occasionally, you'll have a few developments here, but not much was in sight. Anyway, next up you'll see North Shore Coaching, a Thai restaurant, a real estate place, a bakery, halal meats, another Indian restaurant, a sweet store, and if you walk up, you'll see Udaya Supermarket. This is probably the largest Indian supermarket I have seen in Sydney. Correct me if I'm wrong. Seriously, it felt like walking in Mustafa Centre back in Singapore. Can't wait to go back to travel but it gave me those vibes of being back in Little India. Pity I can't take photos or videos inside. Close by, there was some filming going on, so you can check it out. Does anyone know what this show is about? Now as we walk around, there's a Thai massage place, a dry cleaner, a pizza hut, and a fruit shop. They sell mangoes, pineapples, and bananas, which is basically all the tropical fruits. If you go inside, surely there's going to be more. Now if you walk around the street, you'll get a cosy feel of the suburb. I mean it's quiet but it's changing as new apartments are being built and thus gentrifying the area. Hopefully it becomes a bit more hectic. Hinduism is apparently the largest religion in the area but at least you can find a uniting church. Around the corner, you'll be able to find older apartments that were built in the 1980s. Those are probably good quality ones you should check out. Oh, and then nearby is the public school. The intersection of Parramatta Road has a Hungry Jacks and nearby is Audi. This contrasts again with the new developments of the area. If you walk slightly down, you'll be able to see the Woolworths in the area. Again nearby are some more 1980s styles apartments, contrasted with the gum trees that make a pretty cool area for shade. On one hand, you'll be able to see the Anytime Fitness and as you walk in, you'll see some Indian snack store and a couple of other stores. Nothing special here to be honest. You'll be also able to find a heritage building, so as you're walking around, it's a nice sight. And close by, you'll also see a library. Not sure if it's open due to COVID, but maybe check it out yourself. And finally, if you head towards Westmead, you'll see some new developments that are close to the railway line. Anyway, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe below. Make sure you turn on the notification bell and once again, I hope to see you soon. Laters.